What is it? I have no idea. I guess it's called an e-pod shuffle. What does it do? I guess for some reason, people would create playlists they can't see and shuffle them. <laughs> it's like a whole mystery. So you can't see the music before you play it? I guess maybe they could see it on a computer, but you literally can't see anything on this. Oh, well, what happens when I press this button? Wait, don't touch it! We can't know what might happen with an ancient artifact like this. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. Jay, how'd you come across that e-pod shuffling thing? Oh, well, my auntie, well, she keeps everything. Even those lunchable containers, she turns them into fine china for her cats. Anyway, she's got some boxes of old stuff from just about every decade ever. I found these in the 2000s box. That's like 20 whole years ago, back in a time before hoverboards and stuff. I mean, check out some of these old clothes. Wow. Like. Wow, what happened to these jeans? Looks like someone shredded them. I think it's the way they came. Uh, why? Well, check out the back pockets. Whoa, are those bedazzled? <laughs> bedazzled. Now that's a fun word. Bedazzled. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there's some great stuff in this box. Let's try some on. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that was fun. But who wore your auntie's old styles better? What do y'all think? I think they choose me. Uh, no, I think it's me. Wanna find out for sure? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, one press play! play. What's up? I'm your girl, Heidi Plume. Welcome to Fetch or Sketch, where we decide whose style is mega and who got Served. <laughs> Our contestants are wearing Jade's auntie's old clothes. Booyah! Okay, let's bring out our first contestant, Jay, and see what's a poppin'. Now, let's see pictures of all our contestants. Ooh! Looks like the judge, oh yeah, oh, that's me, has decided it's down to two. Two contestants, Jay and Emma, come on out here. Now, you guys are going to tell us why this style is fetch and not sketch before I pick a winner. Okay, what's going on, Emma? Does that, does that mean I go? Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, for starters, Jay's bandanas don't even match. Yeah, well, um, your bucket hat is weird. <gasps> yeah, well, you, you could have worn a tie or bigger sunglasses on your head. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys gotta chill out, okay? You're both pointing out something about each other. That reminds me of a story from Matthew 7. But it's actually not a story. It's a totally iconic lesson that Jesus shared with people who gathered to listen to him teach on the side of a mountain. <laughs> it was about the way we judge people, okay? Jesus said in Matthew 7, 3, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the big plank in your own eye? What Jesus meant was that we all have our own specks and planks to deal with, y'all. Yeah? 
When we pay more attention to the speck in someone else's eye, it's like we think we're better than them. And that's totally sketch, okay? It's not fetch. You have value and others do too, okay? Don't consider yourself better than anyone else because we only judge others when we think we're better than them. Once we realize that Jesus loves us all the same, even with our specks and planks to contend with, we become more humble. Yeah, you can clap for that. Yeah, you can clap. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's true. Jay, you did awesome, and I really do like those bandanas. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I think you actually won, though. You're totally rocking that bucket hat. That's totally fetch. Oh, yeah. Okay, good job, guys. That's right, my friends. It's good to be blinging sometimes, but it's always good to be humble. <gasps> okay, what? Who is that guy? <laughs> Whatever that was, uh, it needs to talk to the hand. <laughs> Sorry, Heidi. It means we gotta go. Thanks for sharing with us. Okay, whatevs. Peace out. Bye. Okay, handshake time. Join with the neighbor for the secret press play handshake. <sighs> it is so good to be out of that stuff. I don't know how they did it back then. Me neither. Let's recap, friends. We press play and walk the runway at a fashion reality show from the 2000s. It was fun until Jay and I started pointing out what was wrong with the other person. Then Heidi Plume shared how Jesus wants us to be humble. That is, instead of judging others, pointing out their flaws and thinking we're better than them, we can realize that we all have flaws, just like we all have good qualities too. Jesus sees all of us and loves each of us the same. And that's why it's always good to be humble. How can you show humility by pointing out something awesome about someone else today? Because trends come and go, but Jesus is always trending. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. We're dropping the verse. <laughs> is it that time already? Here we go. Okay, okay. What is that verse? Let's drop it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. One more time. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, yesterday and today. today. And forever, Hebrews 13, 8, Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever, Hebrews 13, 8, Hebrews 13, 8.